Hello and welcome. In this video, we are going to solve some more questions regarding quadratic equation. Here we have the question in which we have an equation in which there is a repeated root and we have to find out the value of k in each case. As we know that for repeated root, the expression b square minus 4ac is equals to 0. So by using this expression, we will find out the value of k. In this equation, we know a is equals to 1, b is 3 and c is equals to minus k. By putting these values in this expression, we will have b square is 3 square minus 4 a c is minus k is equals to 0. We have 9 plus 4k is equals to 0 or 4k is equals to minus 9 and k is equals to minus 9 over 4. Now look at another question x square minus 18x plus k. Here we have a is equals to 1 as the constant with the x square is 1 b is equals to minus 18 and c is equals to k and we know for the repeated root we have p square minus 4ac is equals to 0 now putting values into the equation we have minus 18 square minus 4 a is 1 and c is k is equals to 0 we have 18 square is 3, 24, 18 into 18, minus 4k is equals to 0. Or we have 3, 24 is equals to 4k. Or we can write it as k is equals to 3, 24 over 4. By cancelling out this, we will have k is equals to 81 and this is our value of k. Now look at another question 4x square minus kx plus 6. Here a is equals to 4 as this is the constant with x square. b is equals to minus k as we take the sign with the expression and c is equals to 6. Now we have b square minus 4 ac is equals to 0 as this is a repeated root. Now putting values in this expression we will have minus k is square minus 4 a is 4 and c is 6 is equals to 0. Minus minus become plus and it becomes k square minus 96 is equals to 0 or we have k square is equals to 96 now in order to find out the value of k we have to take the roots on both side in order to cancel this square then we have k is equals to root 96 or if we factorize 96 we will have Now we have this is a pair, this is a pair and in the root we have 2 into 3 is 6. So we have k is equals to 2 into 2 under root 6 or k is equals to 4 under root 6. This is our answer. Now look at another question here in which we are given the number of roots in the bracket. It means that this equation has this number of roots and we have to deduce this expression in order to find out the value of k. But first we need to review a certain concept. These are 
that if expression b square minus 4ac is greater than 0, we have two roots. If expression b square minus 4ac is equals to 0, we have one root. And if expression b square minus 4ac is less than 0, we have no roots or zero roots. Now look at the question over here, which is x square plus 3x plus k is equals to 0. And we have two roots for there, as two arm is mentioned in a bracket. So, first we start solving this question with the help of the expression b square minus 4ac. Here, a is equals to 1, as this is the value with the x square, b is equals to 3, and c is equals to k. By putting these values, we have, and for this is, for this as we are solving, we have two roots, so b is square minus 4 ac is greater than 0. So by putting these values, we have b square, which is 3 square, minus 4, a is 1, and c is k. And the value should be greater than 0 for two roots. It becomes 9, minus 4, k is greater than 0, or 9 is greater than 4k. Or we can say that 9 over 4 is greater than k. Or you can write it as that 9 over 4 is greater than k. It means k should be less than 9 over 4. And this is the correct value of k. The reason is that because for this value if k is 9 over 4 then we will achieve the positive expression for b square minus 4ac. And we need to have a positive expression for b square minus 4ac because we have the number of roots mentioned here are 2. So for 2 roots, b square minus 4ac is greater than 0 and it will be achieved only if k is less than 9 over 4. Now look at another question in which we have one root for the given equation. And as we know that for one root, the expression b square minus 4ac is equals to 0. So here first we uh, write the values for variables as a is equals to 1 here, b is equals to minus 4 and c is equals to 3k. Now putting these values in this expression, we have minus 4 square minus 4 a and c is 3k is equals to 0. We have 16 minus 12k is equals to 0 or 16 is equals to 12k or k is equals to 16 over 12. Or k is equals to 4 over 3. And if we see for this value of k 4 over 3, this expression b square minus 4 ac becomes 0. By putting this value we will have 16 minus 12. 4 over 3 is equals to 0. And our expression become 0 for 1 rule. So this is the correct value of k for 1 rule for this given equation. Now look at another question here which is kx square minus 5x plus 7 is equal to 0 and the root number of roots here are 0. And we know that for 0 roots the expression b square minus 4ac is less than 0. First, we'll write the values of variables. A is equals to k, b is equals to minus 5, and c is equals to 7. 
Now start putting these values in this expression. We will have minus 5 whole square minus 4. A is K and C is 7 and they are less than 0. So we have 25 and 28K is less than 0. Or you can write as 25 is less than 28K. Or 25 over 28 is less than k means k is greater than 25 over 28. And in order to achieve zero roots which means the value of expression b square minus 4ac should be negative or less than zero. If we put this so k should be greater than 25 over 8 in order to make this expression 0 otherwise uh, sorry negative otherwise we can't achieve the result of for 0 roots because if k is equals to 25 over 28 this expression become equals to 0 and this is not our desired result our desired result is to achieve 0 root which can only be possible if b square minus 4 ac is less than 0 or negative and this negative value can only be achieved when k is greater than 25 over 28. So this is the value of k. In order to more clear the concept, let's solve another question in which we are given two roots which means that the expression b square minus 4ac is greater than 0 as this equation have two roots. Here a is equals to 1, b is equals to minus k and c is equals to 4. Now put these values in the given expressions we will have minus k square minus 4, a is 1 and c is 4 and these all are greater than 0. Now we have k square minus 16 is greater than 0 or we have k square is greater than 16 or k is greater than 4. By taking the roots here we have k is greater than 4. So we can only achieve two roots when the value of k is greater than 4 because if k is equals to 4 this becomes 0 and for 0 root uh, for 0 value of this expression we have only one root but in order to achieve two roots this should be greater than 0 and this can only be achieved if k is greater than 4 here. Hope this help you in understanding the quadratic expressions better. Thank you for watching.